What is up guys, Fixin' It here today, and I'm bringing you another Sony Vegas tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make a like freeze frame effect. So basically, it's when your character or soldier, or it doesn't have to be, this is just if you're going to do it in a montage, uh, if it's just normal footage, then as someone is walking along, there'll be like a frame where they freeze, and it'll be a picture of them, and then they'll keep walking, and then it'll freeze again, and it's kind of hard to explain, but this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so that is what it is going to look like. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. So obviously you need to open Sony Vegas, and I already have my clip here, so I just play this through. It's simply a soldier jumping up, I believe this is at 0 0.3 times speed, and he just runs along the wall. So the first step um, is to figure out how many intervals you want, how many freezes. So for this one, I'm probably going to do about 3, so I might do, I'll zoom in a bit, might do one there, um, so you put a marker there, and then one there, one there, and then lastly one there. So we'll have four. So what we need to do is insert a new video track, and do this four times. So you're going to need your first one, and then four video tracks above this first one. I'll just change the display color list to make it a bit simpler. And what you want to do is to go to each marker and then hit this little button up here. Now, before you hit this button, you want to make sure your quality is set to best and then full. This is so you get the full best quality. And you just want to hit this button, save snapshot file. I'm just going to do it to my desktop. And then just save it. And then go to your second marker. Do the same thing again. Go to your third marker. Do the same thing again and then your last marker, and do the same thing again. Now what you want to do is drag the first one, and make sure it's the length of the whole piece of footage, has to be the length of the whole clip, and basically just drag them on, and then make sure they end at the end of the footage. So it should look like this staircase kind of effect. Now what you want to do is disable the top three, or however many you have, so there's just the last one left. And then you want to put your marker here, at the beginning of the footage. Now, what you want to do is hit this little button here, the event pan crop button. What we're going to do is mask around this character. Now, since he's running from the left-hand side, which he might not be for you, um, you might be different for you, you want to have the right-hand side masked because he's running from the right-hand side. The left-hand side doesn't matter. So, what you're going to do is hit this button up here and creation tool. And by the way, if you missed that, I just checked this little box for the mask layer. And you just basically click on the top of his head. Um, and then just like that. And then, actually, I'll make this window a bit bigger. Oh, come on. Okay, there. And you want to drag to basically the left hand most point. So this is for him. In this situation, it's the shoe. And then we're just going to mask around the character. So just masking around like this. It doesn't have to be a very perfect job, as you will not notice. There will be motion in the footage. And if there is a little bit off, you will people just miss it. It's not that important. So just go around just like this. And basically, what you're going to do... The effect you'll make is, you can't see, this right hand side is gone, you only see the left hand bit of footage. And the effect it's going to make, uh, let's just check, okay, yeah, disable resampling. And the effect it's going to make is this, so I just play this back here. He runs along, and then as you can see it freezes, and then he keeps running. So basically you need to do this for all of the clips, all of the layers. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in a minute. Now, there's something I missed that make sure you may have to make sure you do. When you are editing, the, doing the next layer, and I said the left-hand side doesn't matter. It doesn't, but make sure you're not covering the um, the picture before it. So what you want to do is just drag these over. So it doesn't. It can be messy, but don't do it like I've done it, where it covers the whole frame, because then you'll end up covering the previous um, freeze frame before it. So as you can see now, it is. You can still see the character before it. 
So just make sure you do that. Just thought I'd quickly put that in there. Okay, so I have now finished. And as you can see at the end of it, there is um, the characters and they are all have this outline. So if we go to the beginning here and we play this through, he runs up and then there's freeze frames all the way along like this. And it makes a really cool effect and it just works really well. And I think it's a pretty awesome effect. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it. If this tutorial has helped you, please leave a like or a comment down below that is really appreciated. And any other suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, please leave, leave them down below as well. As I'm often not sure what you guys want to see, so any suggestions is really, um, really, really grateful for them. So that's for it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.